In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and with your spirit. In the midst of the church he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed, clothed him in a robe of glory. Alleluia. Good morning and welcome to our Mass on this feast, memorial of Saint Athanasius. And we're offering Mass today for the repose of the soul of Joseph McElmail, who died recently. We gather again to the Lord, to the upper room where Jesus gave us the gift of his own body and blood. We pray that we may be cleansed and made worthy to receive this great gift and to listen attentively to his word. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord of Mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of Mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord of Mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who raised up Bishop Saint Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that, rejoicing in his teachings and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The churches throughout Judea and Galilee and Samaria were now left in peace, building themselves up, living in the fear of the Lord and filled with the consolation of the Holy Spirit. Peter visited one place after another and eventually came to the saints living down in Lydda. There he found a man called Aeneas, a paralytic who had been bedridden for eight years. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ cures you. Get up and fold up your sleeping mat. Aeneas got up immediately. Everybody who lived in Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they were all converted to the Lord. At Jaffa there was a woman disciple called Tabitha, or Dorcas in Greek, who never tired of doing good or giving in charity. But the time came when she got ill and died, and they washed her and laid her out in a room upstairs. Lydda is not far from Jaffa, so when the disciples heard that Peter was there, they sent two men with an urgent message for him. Come and visit us as soon as possible. Peter went back with them straight away, and on his arrival they took him up to the upstairs room, where all the widows stood round him in tears, showing him tunics and the other clothes that Dorcas had made when she was with them. Peter sent them all out of the room and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to the dead woman and said, Tabitha, stand up. She opened her eyes, looked at Peter, and sat up. Peter helped her to her feet. Then he called in the saints and widows and showed them she was alive. The whole of Jaffa heard about it, and many believed in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
the response to the psalm, How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? My vows to the Lord I will fulfil before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. After hearing his doctrine, many of the disciples of Jesus said, This is intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his followers were complaining about it and said, Does this upset you? What if you should see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. The words I have spoken to you are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the outset those who did not believe, and who it was that would betray him. He went on, This is why I told you that no one could come to me unless the Father allows him. After this, many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, What about you? Do you want to go away too? Simon Peter answered, Lord, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life, and we believe, we know, that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the message of eternal life. And we believe that you are the Holy One of God. We believe that you are the Son of God. Who else can we go to? And when it comes down to it, whether we understand the mysteries of our faith or not, we know deep within us that there is no one but Jesus for us to turn to. So we turn to him now in the faith that we have 
faithful to him, loyal to him. We offer our very selves to him this day that we may be one with him. That he may bless and touch everything that he may be in everything that takes place this day. We give thanks to God for the goodness and the blessings that we are receiving even in this most difficult time. And in the words of the psalm, how can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the name of the Lord. So we raise up the cup of salvation in this Eucharist in thanksgiving for the blessings that we are receiving right now. In thanksgiving for the blessings that are to come. And we pray in union with Mary, whose Magnificat gives praise to the Lord for his goodness. We ask her to intercede for us that we may have a Magnificat in our hearts this day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of St. Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who pr profess the same unblemished faith as him. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. 
and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Joseph McElmail, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. We unite ourselves with Jesus now as we pray with love, to our Heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. And let us offer to each other and to the world the gift of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
my Lord and my God, my God and my all, my Lord, my life and my love, I adore you profoundly. Heal me, Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with Saint Athanasius, may through this sacrament ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.